Hello and welcome to my channel Kotiko Maven. Our today's topic is how to export CSV file values to a SharePoint list. So I am having that CSV file ready along with me. So I will be experimenting with all the types of uh, columns our SharePoint list can have. Like this project title is a single line of text. Project description is a multiple line of text. Project type is a choice column uh, with mono select values. Project tags is a choice column again but with multi select values. Project cost is a number column. Project start date is a date time column. High importance is a yes slash no column. Project initiator is a person or group column. Website link is a hyperlink column and project dom domain is a lookup column. So let's start. So this CSV is ready with me. Now I'll show you the lists where I want to upload all of my data. Okay. So I'm having this SharePoint online site and I have already created this projects list with all this value, all these columns, project title, project description, project type, project tag, cost, date, high importance, yes or no column, uh, person or group column, hyperlink column, and last is lookup column. The same structure is there in my CSV, CSV file. So I'll export all the values, all the three values present in my CSV file in this list. And for this lookup column, I have created one project master data list. So all the lookup values are uh, available in this technology, healthcare and travel. So in the CSV file, you can see healthcare, travel and technology, all the values are there. So we will see, we cannot directly insert the lookup value as a string in the projects column. So we need to perform few steps. So we will see how to insert lookup columns. So let me say uh, let me say that all the like all the values can be straightway updated except uh, the uh, date column and the project uh, and the lookup column. So here date column you can see is in the format of DD MM YYYY. But SharePoint by default accepts all the date uh, values in MM DD YYYY format. If you don't convert convert this DD MM YYYY column to MM DD YYYY pattern, then uh, SharePoint will uh, give you uh, an error. PowerShell script will uh, give you an error. So let's start. So this is our CSV file. I'm closing it. I've already shown you my projects list and my lookup column list. Okay. So let's start. I'm opening. Uh, shall I see? I am having the code ready, so I don't want to uh, like uh, spend time in typing. So first thing is to read the project data CSV file. That is the project data CSV file I'm having here. So I will run this command. So this command has been run successfully. After that, my second step would be login to my SharePoint online site. So why I have used this um, credential method, if you want to see that, uh, I'll give a description link uh, below. From there, you can uh, see that uh, why I have used this web, use web login parameter. So there's an explanation video of this. So I'll run this column. So you can see it has been run successfully. Next step, this step is necessary, uh, you will see why. So here in this step basically, I am getting the master uh, project master data list values. This will be used for inserting our lookup value in project list. So I am running this. Then what I am doing? Here I have created my array. For inserting all the values. 
in SharePoint list. So I'll just explain it for you. So the first line is the array itself, which is a mm, blank initial value. Then I'm inserting the title value. This, the first parameter is the SharePoint lists inter, internal column name. So I would say if somebody is not aware of this thing. So if you see project title here, okay so project title name is a display name but not the internal name but uh, for us to run the partial script correctly we always have to enter the internal name internal name of any column so how can we find the internal name of any column so just quickly see it go to list settings and then you see the project title but this is the display name so how can we get the internal name of this column click on this then you see this url has been formed in browser so after filled whatever is the value this is the internal name of that column display name can be anything you can several times change the display name but internal name will be standard one it will be the constant one so for project title, we can see the display name, uh, so, sorry, the internal name is title. So if I go back, I want to show you another example, probably, uh, hmm, which one? Probably this project tags. So you can see project space tags is a display name, but in the URL, you will find the internal name of this column which is project tax without any space okay so this is how we can find the internal name column so we are back on our partial script so here uh, as i was saying the first column uh, parameter is the sharepoint online lists internal column name okay and this one is the column name from the csv file okay so here You can say I am uh, looping in rows value. I have selected the CSV file value and I am uh, using for each. I am looping this. Okay. So this row is having first row of this CSV file data. Okay. Okay. So you can see the single line of text title we are entering easily, multiple line of text. We are entering easily choice mono value we are entering this way choice and this is number field value project cost we are entering this way then uh, project tag is a choice value but multi-value so entering this for choice multi-value if you go to the csv file you will see tags no so we have how we have given the value here small semicolon space medium semicolon space and big so in this way you have to give the tags over here now multi-value we have covered okay high importance it is a yes no yes no value right uh, so if you go here in sharepoint list so you can see this high importance column it is having the data type of yes or no but we cannot from the csv file we cannot directly write yes or no for high importance column like for yes no column so if you want if you want to uh, insert yes uh, it is uh, you need to insert one and if you want to insert no if you need to in, uh, write zero over here so one is yes and zero is no okay so in this way you can insert the yes no values in a sharepoint list and it will be uh, shown in the sharepoint list as a tick mark if it is a yes it will be a tick mark if it is a no it will be blank okay we will see uh, and after that you can see the person and group column project initiator in the csv file i have given just the uh, display name of that user and it is taking that display name and uh, finding the display name from all the present organization users and from there it is uh, taking the value okay 
and then hyperlink column website link here in the csv file you can see i have given hyperlink starting with https and then you can see uh, for date time column i have done some uh, customization so sorry from csv file i have taken the project start date okay so this is the project start date this one but this is in format of ddmmyyyy but we want to change it into mmddyyyy okay so i am simply splitting this and the delimiter is hyphen and in d date i am just uh, forming in the format of mmddyyy see the day after splitting the date part one i have prefixed and then this is the this is the mm part month part this is the i'm adding our delimiter this is the day part uh, and then i'm ag again adding a delimiter and then this is the uh, year part okay so this variable i am assigning in the um, project start date column okay lastly how to enter a lookup column this is very exciting uh, i mean the project domain column so you can see first I, I i am writing the lookup list items column variable what is the lookup list item column variable in the third line what we executed we executed get pnp list item and list project master data so this master data all the master data lists uh, values are here in the lookup list items variable so here i have written lookup lists item then i have written a where clause in this where clause um, i am just uh, like searching if pro project domain value equals to our road rows data like if our row is healthcare okay so in this master data list i am searching in master data if you see if i go here in master data you can see uh, for healthcare the associated id is 2 for technology it is 1 and for travel it is 3 so if i go to uh, the first row the first row for project domain is healthcare so how can i insert healthcare in the project list so we need to find the idea of this healthcare so what is the idea of this healthcare in project master data it is 2 so if we go here you can see this is the exact thing i have done so i have grabbed this project master data list value then i have uh, written a where clause where i am finding the project domain name is equal to project domain name from the csv file so here project domain name is uh, is the um, uh, column from project master data it is finding uh, row dot project domain name that is the healthcare so once this search is done and it uh, from this uh, master project master data list we find the uh, healthcare item then we are just uh, fetching the id of that health healthcare item so what is the what would be the idea of the healthcare item that would be two okay so after everything is done okay the final step is Final step is add PMP list item, the list name that is projects in our case, and this row values, this array we have object we have just created. Okay, we can go to projects data, we can refresh, and you can see no values are there. And in our Excel sheet, there are one, two, three, three, three rows. So I'm closing this Excel sheet and I'm now running. And expecting these three rows will be inserted in our SharePoint list. So I'm just running this. So you can see here it has been executed successfully. So if I go go back to our project list and refresh it, yes, you can see all the data are uploaded. So this is.